Hello everybody, this is Violet from High Cards. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And now, in today's video, we have the Generation 1 Pokemon tier list. It's uh, been quite a journey at this point. We, we've covered uh, all nine generations, the Hisuian form, the Mega forms, Gigantamax forms, and now here we are at Generation 1. Same deal as always, S, A, B, C, D, E, F. S is best, F is worst, and let us begin. Now, for context, I don't particularly like all too many of the Kanto Pokemon. There's not too many I actually quite love. So, it's not going to be the best, uh, most positive list. So, Bulbasaur in B, with, Ensign, uh, with Venusaur being in A. I think it's a flying group of starters. I really do. I don't have any particular problem with it. I just think it all... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I quite like Venusaur. But the other two, I'm not the biggest... I'm like, in love with it, but I do like it. If that makes sense. Don't love it, but like it. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. I hate Charizard with a passion. It is... Just... Everywhere. I don't like it. Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise. I like Squirtle and Blastoise. Wartortle is just a horrible design in my opinion, but the other two, I think they're good. Caterpie, Metapod, Butler Free. I think those three are pretty top quality, nice, uh, subtly designed Pokemon. Weedle, Kakuna, Beedrill. Same opinion on the Caterpie line. Pidgey. Pidgeotto and Pidgeot. Same opinion once again. All of these iron Pokemon are free stage Evo Pokemon found early in the game and they're all pretty good. But not great, not bad, they're just good. I actually really like the Rattata line. I, I love it. I really do. Spiro and Firo, our first S of Gen 1. I love the Spiro line. Never known why, but I like it. Ekans and Arbok. I think they're fine. They're average enough, but I think they're fine. Uh, Pikachu and Raichu. Pikachu's okay, you know, he's the mascot, he's gonna be okay at the very least. And Raichu's just average, he is there, he's alright, he's cool. Sand Shrew, Sand Slash, never like Sand Slash's design all too much, but Sand Shrew's a bit cute. The whole Nido family is always been average, except for Nido King, which I'll give a B. I think these are all really good, and the fact that you can get Nido King early in the Kanto games is really quite nice. Uh, I've never liked the Clefable or Clefairy line. Volpix and Ninetales are nice. They're really good. Solid Pokemon design. Lovely. See. I have a Clefairy line or the Ninetales line, I don't have too much to say about them, which is why I just moved on quickly. Like, yeah, it's an S, but I simply don't have too much to say about it. Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. I think Jigglypuff is fine, but Wigglytuff just looks odd to me. Zubat and Golbat. Mid-tier, nothing particularly too wonderful or too bad about them. Oddish. Oddish's Evolution and Vileplume. I actually like Vileplume a fair bit. Pretty solid Pokemon in my opinion. Paris and Paraset. I think they're okay, nothing particularly wrong. V Venomoth and... Ven oh, the Venomoth line is okay. Nothing too phenomenal. Diglett, Doug Trio. Once again, things are alright. Nothing phenomenal. Meowth. And P 
person, I'll actually give to an A. I think they are okay. They are cats, so that's always nice. Side duck, gold duck. I've hated side ducks design. It's just uh, makes me uncomfortable. Gold duck is better. Mankey, primate. Never liked Mankey all too much. And primate is okay at the very least. Growlithe and Arcanine. Yeah, okay, I'll give it. I have a bit of a story regarding Arcanine in a f future story video. The Polywag line, you can go comfortably there. Don't have anything to say about the Polywag line. Like, I've never used it, never really done a full playthrough of Kanto actually just parts of the playthrough because I simply don't like Kanto as a region and there's better Pokemon games with these Pokemon in it. Now for the Abraline, I do have uh, experience with them, I just don't really care about them. They're powerful, Alakazam looks cool and I'll, you know, give them a B, but yeah, that's it. Um, Machop, Machoke and Machar. Matchup is the best of the three, but the other two just make me very uncomfortable. Bell Sprout line, Weeping Bell, and Victory Bell. Oh, these are really nice Pokemon. I really like what they did with it, the concept and how they executed it. Very nice. I quite like the Tentacle line. I really do. Nothing particularly wrong with them. I just really like them. Actually, really good there. Uh, pink, yeah. Geodude, and actually don't like Geodude all too much. Nor do I like Graveler, but Golem. I actually quite like Gold. I think it's an awesome Pokemon. The Ponyta line, very nice Pokemon, very elegantly designed. Slowpoke. And slow bro. Trade evolutions are a pain, but I'll give it to it. I like it, so it serves an A. I really do like its design. Magnemite, Magneton. Yeah, I like Magnemite. It's it can go in A though, but I do like it. Oh B, I mean sorry. Far-fetched, I absolutely love it. I really do, simply an awesome Pokemon concept. Well, I don't know about the concept, just the execution is very good. Doduo and Dodrio, really like how these are designed and I just like it. Simple, simple and elegant. The Seal and Dugong, I just like how pretty they are. Elegant Dugong is seal not too much. Grimer and Mark is not the best. Average but not great. Shelter and Cloyster pretty much the same. Just I didn't like Mark. Uh, I liked. I didn't like Mark near as much as I liked the other three. The Ghastly line. I don't like Gengar as much as a lot of other people do. Onyx, I think, is fine. I think it's a neat Pokemon. Don't like Hypno nor Drowsy at all. Krabby and Kingler is average enough, in my opinion. Voltorb and Electro. I love, I love how simple and goofy they are. I've stated in the past, single stage evolutions are my favourite, hence why, I, actually to be fair, the only single stage so far is Farfetch, but there's a lot of two stage evolutions which I'm a very big fan of. Execute and Executor, I don't mind, don't have any strong opinions. Same with Cubone and Marowak. Nothing particularly bad about them, just don't have any strong opinions. 
Actually, to be fair, same with Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. I don't like the Katungo, that, that's funny, I like it, it it's alright. Coughing, wheezing, I don't like, really don't. Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Yeah, you can go up, Rhyhorn can go there. Chansey can go there. Honestly, I thought they would be more negative side now. I just simply don't like Generation 1, which is why I thought there would be more negatives. Oh. Tangela, I have no experience with. So that's why it's gone there. Kangaskhan, I love its design, love its me, sorry, mega evolution. Nothing freaking about it, it's a neat Pokemon. Horsey and Sudra deserves an evolution, but Kingdra is not a great evolution. Goldeen and Seeking. I love how adorable and derpy they both are, respectively, and I love it. Love, 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 love. Star You, Star Me. Same with a lot of the other ones on Z. Just, I like their designs a little bit more, which is why it's on the tier above. Mr. the Mime, don't like, never have. Cypher is average. I've not got any experience with Cypher, so... That's why it's there. Jinx, hate it. Electabuzz and Magma. Magma I like to an extent. Electabuzz I don't particularly like at all. Pinsar I think is a really cool designed one. Like a really cool designed Pokemon. Tauros is sick. I think it's on par with the Paldean Taurus, I wouldn't mind doing a comparison video about all four of them one day. Uh, Magikarp is average, I guess. Gyarados, I actually don't like. Look, I think Magikarp is a much better Pokemon because of its memes and all that, the potential it has as a meme one. But Gyarados is just a, just a standard, brute, powerful Pokemon. Magikarp was the meme. Lapras is just elegant. I'm sure a lot of us can agree upon that. Ditto is awesome and so useful as Pokemon and it's adorable and I uh, love it. Eevee, my favourite Pokemon of Generation 1. Love it. Adorable. Simply amazing. Perfect. My name on uh, Pokemon Go is actually Evolution. Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. So, Vaporeon, sorry, Vaporeon, I think is a pretty nice design one. Good stuff. Jolteon and Flareon, I've just never particularly liked all too much. I'll give Flareon the benefit of doubt it is better than Jolteon, but not by too much. Porygon? I'll put there. No, I'll put that. I love Porygon and all of everything about it. I praise Lord Helix, of course. No, I can't. Uh, I like Omanite and Omastar, but they're not S tier in my opinion. But, praise Lord Helix. Kabuto and Kabutops. I think they're fine. Okie days. I don't have any strong opinions like a lot of the Pokemon on this list. I don't have any experience. Aerodactyl is my least favourite of the three Gen 1 fossils. Snorlax, I don't really care about. On par with my favourite Pokemon of Generation 1 is Articuno. I think is one of the best designed Pokemon ever. Elegance is in its name, in my opinion. Zapdos, I don't like its design. And Moltres, I don't like its design. Funny how, like, one part of the trio is S and then uh, F for the other two. Uh, let's see, Dratini line. Never liked Dragonite. Uh, Dratini and Dragonair. Dragonair can go on. I think it is beautiful and should have gotten a better evolution. Mewtwo. 
I think is a sick design, as I'm sure a lot of us can agree upon. Mew, I don't like. Never liked Mew. It's, as I've stated in multiple videos, I don't like ridiculously popular Pokemon. And Mew, I know, is very popular. So, yeah. That's just my opinion. We are all entitled to our own. And so this is my list. I hope you've enjoyed. Notable ones are going to be that S has more than I expected it to. If I knew would have uh, specific ones, like the first four I knew, I knew those two would be there, the Hypno line, Mr. Mind Jinx I knew would be there, I had a feeling the two legendary birds would be, and I didn't think C would be so big, I just don't care about a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon, but F, oh sorry, S has some absolutely bankers in this, I really do like a lot of Pokemon in this uh, game, and this exemplifies it, but as I said, there are some bangers. Oh, sorry, some misses. The bangers are up here. But this has been my list. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I hope you look forward to the next episode of this series. Now that we've covered the nine generations, we have a whole new world to explore. We could do shinies, we could do the movies, the games. There's so much we can explore now that I've gotten the nine gens that I wanted to cover. So I hope you look forward to it. This has been Violet from High Cards, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye now.